Mackay. Drop. Hey guys, we're back with Joe and Joe's Tundra here on uh, Five Tails Speedworks. This time we are going to be putting on a Prinsu wrap from, uh, well, you got it from CBI, CBI right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, but a Prinsu rack. So that's what we're gonna do. We've already, uh, we've already done the CBI rack across the back with the tent on top. We've given you a walk around on the last one, but right now we're gonna be doing this good old. Let me see if I can get set up here for this thing. For the unboxing of it. Sweet. Oh god, as I kick it. There you go. So good, nice shipping. Good packing, all that kind of good stuff. Went ahead and got the noise reducing trim for the front as well. You want to build it on a table? Oh, here's five horsepower right there. There you go, at least. Some dope ass stickers. I don't know if you can see that. Love these things. Install instructions. Go to the web. <laughs> like last time, remember, right? It's good, solid. All cut and notched. There's like a whole line of accessories and just sliding those. All right guys, so this is the load panels. And basically they just slide down. They're gonna slide down these grooves down here. So they sit in there and they slide down these grooves. Okay, right, so we're gonna put on the wind deflector. So wind deflector has 10, 10 holes in it. So basically we're gonna feed these down and you feed them down to where the little, the little indentation, the indentation goes down. So you want the flat side to be towards the top.
So there's a little excess, so we're just going to uh, I'm just gonna go start snugging everything up, so. All right guys, so these little bars, these little end caps for the um, load panels, they need to be trimmed. You need to fit them inside the groove. Fit them inside the groove and trim them to trim them to fit. Because they actually sit in here. What these do is they keep the panel from rattling on the metal and driving you nuts as you drive down the road. Alright guys, so I don't know if we can see this. Basically we're gonna run tape along both edges of the uh, of the rubber rail strip just to protect the paint while we put this up here. We're also gonna get a blanket. We're gonna shove a blanket up here just so we uh, don't scratch the top of the truck. Now that we got the tape laid out, uh, we're, we're going to set up the uh, set the rack up on the top of it. This way, we can mark out the holes of where the rib nuts have to go. Um, as you can see, the rack is not real heavy at all. I think it might weigh five, ten pounds. Uh, well, maybe a little more. I don't know the exact weight. But what's more awkward is just if you have a jacked up truck like this, you have to get on ladders, and it generally takes two people to set it up. Um, if you didn't have a tent on the thing, you could probably walk it from the bed and make it easier. But the reason we need to set this up here right now is that CBI gives you a measurement which is 10 inches from the front of the window till the first hole. And as you can see, we've already pre-drilled the first hole. Um, just take this slow. Um, it would probably be best to put, you'll see I put a socket on the next one just so that it gives me kind of a, a drill stop so you can't go all the way in. There's enough cavity in here though. It'll take this whole three inch bit and won't poke out the headliner. But take it slow. There are some wires that run up in here. Um, so just step up. We uh, used these two until we were able to use a unibit, which you'll see here in just a second. Um, and then we use the unibit to step up to where the hole is big enough for the riv nut to fit in. We don't make it to where there's a loose fit. We want the riv nut to be fairly tight when we stick it in there. So you'll see us, you'll see me drill and then check again and then drill a little bit more. Just work your way up to the correct size. Plus I like the unibit because it doesn't uh, go very deep in there. So now that we have a good fit, it's gonna take a little bit of a hammer to put on, but you're gonna see we put some silicone. This is just right stuff that you get from the auto parts store. So we get it there, grab our hammer, or our mallet I should say. Give it a little tappy tap tap. Now the best thing to have would be a riv nut tool. I did not have mine today. It was at uh, the other shop, but we came up with this and you can make your own tool, but the best thing to do is a riv nut tool um, that kind of squeezes these. We just use a bolt to actually pull it all up. It worked perfect and good. Give it a little squeeze till it's tight. So with this, we set the first two bolts this way, the front two. That way it set the rack and it gave the rack the correct position and that allowed us to be able to go and mark all the other ones. I'm not gonna bore you with watching us drill out the other eight of these or six of these that there are, um, but you do the same thing all the way around. All right guys, so we, uh, as you saw, we got all of the riv nuts in. So we are two, one, should be two back here, but we did not get, uh, they didn't send us enough. So they're on their way. We will do them at a later point in time. But right now we got all those in. 
We're gonna carefully set the rack back on, put the bolts in, and we're not gonna tighten them, but we're going to uh, put them in, get them loose, and then we're gonna make sure that we got the rack where we want it, and then we'll tighten them up. So that's what we're doing. All right, quick walk around thing. Probably what we should have done from the start was take any time you really do maintenance where you're drilling into places that you don't know. Uh, we probably should have taken the battery off the first thing we did. Uh, the reason I say that is on the truck at this middle hole, when you drilled in there, we could see the yellow airbag wiring. And uh, it was just, just in case you accidentally snagged it, you don't want to go and do couple grand worth of damage to the truck just because you hit it with the battery on. So um, with that, that's one of those things that we would have done. Uh, some other things we uh, was missing, missing some hardware, but CVI was awesome. Joe called them and uh, they're overnighting it. So, but with it being New Year's, it won't be here until Monday, but whatever. It's not gonna be hard to just take a few bolts off and redo that. But with that, what do you think, Joe? Everything about it feels quality. The hardware wasn't bad, unlike when we got the CGI yeah. bed bars. The hardware was trash. The stuff's actually pretty good. So it was a pretty fairly easy install. I mean, we're not professionals. Yeah, it took a couple hours. I mean, you just gotta, the scariest part is drilling into a, a, new, truck. a new truck or drilling into your yeah. truck if it's not new. Uh, but you saw how we put on silicone. I recommend that. Um, we really, the only measurement that we really got from CBI was that 10 inches from the glass back. I think what we're gonna do at some point in time, we're gonna figure out a way of being able to put the, the trim back in so that it'll drain some water and that kind of stuff. Uh, just to clean up, I just wanna do it here to clean up that front. The front and the back. The front and the back. The middle stuff by itself. The middle stuff's so high, but yeah. we'll we'll put that stuff back in, but we'll get that figured it's out. Good. So, looks good. Tell us what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe. There's more to come on this truck. At some point in time, we're gonna do front bumper, front bumper rear bumper, some rock sliders, that kind of stuff. And then uh, there's lights coming too. I think I said that in a comment below on one of the other ones, but we're gonna do some lights at some point in time. So we're gonna do a quick walk around at uh, some point in time. It might be in this video, uh, but we'll see. So till next time, keep modding that stuff. That's what we like.